I am Hilda Frontani. I was born in Puerto Rico, Arecibo, Puerto Rico. I came into the United States um, in about 1953. Um, we settled in the community that is north of the Chicago River, ar around the area of uh, Superior East um, Chicago Avenue, Erie, uh, LaSalle, that whole area that is there. Um, that that area was the area where Holy Name Cathedral was at, and everybody relates to that community um, south of, um, of, of Chicago Avenue. Um, my parents um, were living in Arecibo. My mom used to be the person that would uh, take care of the home. She would um, raise the vegetables and she would, um, m many a times she would trade for uh, the vegetables and, uh, to go get other types of groceries that we were not having available. Um, as an example, she would um, grow the cassava plant, she would ground it, she would make that starch, and then she would uh, trade the starch for the women who would um, starch the uh, clothing of the males, and uh, she would then come home with bacalao, um, the catfish. Uh, so that we could have a, a evening a mealy, m meal on uh, Fridays when we would not eat on on on, um, on any other meat. Um, my mom um, was also the person that would take care of the um, farm because we did have some uh, small animals in the farm. And my father would uh, be the one that was working in the uh, sugar cane crop. Um, my mother and all the other women would go and um, make the meal and give it to bring it to the for, uh, uh, sugar crop, and the men would then be eating um, homemade meals. Um, my my father is the first one that came to the United States to the mainland um, with another group of males. Um, they all shared an apartment, and I remember that my father was the um, barber for the whole group. Uh, so my farmer, my father, my father was the barber. My father was the cook for all of them. And my father also used to work at the um, butcher yards. Um, this is um, the community where we were um, being raised was around the area of um, 7 West Erie, I believe it was. And there, I remember in that community, it, we were surrounded by Italians. Um, there was a... Um, a, a Bowman Dairy Company. There was a um, company there for coffee and um, I remember that when the Italians uh, came around and they didn't uh, they didn't want us living in that neighborhood um, there were um, quite often my family had to go up to the rooftops and they would go and get ice from the uh, Bowman Dairy Company, which was the milk company, and they would use the big, big blocks of ice in order to defend themselves from the rooftop. Um, my, my father um, has also worked many other jobs, like at the candy companies. Um, and then later on, um, my father became um, a, the janitor for Holy Name Cathedral. Um, 
and that's um, one of the places where I remember um, to have had me fun memories and, and also memories of, of how we were treated. Um, I remember that my father would give up at, get up in the winters at about four in the morning to make sure that the re the the grounds were cleaned for the beginning of the masses, and he, my father would not come home till about eight o'clock at night. Um, I do know that through his work and my mother's work at Holy Name Cathedral, my mom, um, uh, um, they were able to pay for the tuition for the uh, for for myself and for three of my brothers. Um, I originally started out at a elementary school, um, not Catholic. Uh, public. It was William B. Ogden. I remember that was near um, Dearborn and Oak Street. And that's that was my first encounter uh, with the English language. Um, the children would uh, make fun of me and I quite often I would go home crying and not wanting to return to that school because I didn't understand what they were saying to me. Um, I went through the, the type of schooling that many of the other children in that school went through um, uh, with the example of uh, this is an apple and none of us knew what an apple was because we weren't growing any apples in my um, farm. Um, we, um, I did then learn uh, some of the language and then we were transferred to Holy Name Cathedral and that's where my three brothers and I, I was the elder, oldest, and um, we were the first, we were uh, educated there at Holy Name Cathedral. Um, at Holy Name Cathedral, I remember that it was, um, very few uh, Spanish-speaking uh, staff there. Um, I only had one nun that spoke Spanish, Sister Mary Lorenzo, and one priest. Um, our, our Puerto Rican community um, that went to Mass there at Holy Name Cathedral, uh, we we had to go to Mass in the basement. We were not in the sanctuary. Um, my mom was um, very involved in the, in the church. My father, of course, by, by being there working also, was very involved. Um, I remember that my, my father was one of the people with the Caballeros de San Juan councils. Um, and and the Caballeros de San Juan was one of the ways that we, the young people, found a way to um, have a family get together because there were all the Caballeros de San Juan used to have these uh, Wednesday night socials where we went there as a family and we would dance and we would sing and 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 we would share with each other's um, the uh, the stories of, of the home loan and also the stories of what was happening in the community uh, around Holy Name Cathedral. My mother was very involved with the Catholic Church in terms of she was a uh, with a group called Las Cavi, um, she was a Dama, Damas de Sacrado Corazón. Um, the Sacrado Corazón ladies were the, the, they, um, they, um, they was a prayer group and also they were like a group that uh, uh, supported each other in their uh, efforts um, to change some of the changes that need to be taken in the community. Um, the uh, the ladies of Sagrado Corazon, um, 
they would visit uh, people in the community and they would speak with them about um, their, um, their faith. Um, do you have children that need to be baptized? Can we help you with the process of baptism? Um, can we help you with the process of getting you into Holy Communion and etc. And I, uh, um, in the years later, I became um, uh, a part of a group called um, um, the Young. It was the. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> 